Alright. Are you okay? He gives Sachiko a thumbs up. She gets a thumbs up back. Is it Sachiko? Um... Well, I kind of want to see what else is on this floor. We'll probably just run into some sort of maybe stairs, hopefully, because I doubt we're done with this place yet. But after... Oh, oh, um... Wait, where? Look over to the right. <laughs> I just saw that as I was looking around. I don't see anything. No, back in the room with those dudes. Um, let's try going the other way. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's back. Oh no! <laughs> I figured out how to move multiple things. <laughs> you still didn't grab the tassels, though. That's because it's not mine. <laughs> Wait. So two people working on the hat now? Is a hat collaboration going on? Yes. Regardless, let's go. Let's see if that the door that's not surrounded by dudes is open. The answer is no, for the record. This. Uh, do we have to fight those guys? I kind of don't want to. Well, we'll just have to find out, won't you? Kaido, you go in first. <laughs> I you can know, go in first. I have endurance. You know, guys, that would be a good idea. How about we just leave? Just we just take a nap somewhere. Kaido very gingerly pokes his head through the door to see if they'll try and attack him. So when you poke your head through the door. You see basically the end of a rampage? Cause those gurneys that you saw have kind of been like destroyed. Ripped apart, yeah, okay. And you see kind of like basically debris from uh the the uh what used to be the gurneys on the floor. You still see like the parts of it still bolted to the door, but, uh, the gurneys have been cleared. And you see the creatures, oops, that's not what I wanted to grab, uh, all move their way into the room. Kaito just yells off to them, so are we cool or uh, what? As they continue to walk away. Okay, I guess so, thanks. I hope we didn't just unleash more enemies into the world. Catherine <laughs> pokes her head into the next one, presuming it's the hallway, but you know. Just be safe, we just came out of a huge boss encounter. Oh, da, 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 da. I mean, I don't Before think so. They're peeking through. Catherine has any right. There you go. Tassels are back. Yay, tassels are back. Anyways, let's move through. Your doors mean nothing to me. And you find yourselves in a room with a set of stairs. Uh, that's kind of what I assumed. Okay, we're heading out. We, we yeah. got to a good stopping point. We're getting out of this hospital. <laughs> okay, then. I'm making this executive decision, which I think <laughs> we all agree with. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, yo, bird, we're done for the day. Get us the fuck out of here. There, there's a door. You can, you can just go through it. Yeah, I was being polite and shit. Bye. You kinda failed at it! Fuck you, bud! I will cook you! you! Then we leave. They're a match made in heaven, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that bird 
It's kind of jerky, guys. And, uh... Yeah! Y'all leave the hospital. And you have cleared the first floor. Hooray! Do we have some more time? Oh, we've only been going for two hours, so we can... Yeah, I wouldn't out. mind doing, like, one or two days of social link stuff. Mm. Yeah. Is there is a social phase where you do your social links, any sort of, um, uh, like extra stuff where you go buy stuff or do things that might, uh, give you benefits in the dungeon. Uh, and then you have the dungeon phase, which is obviously where you explore the dungeon. Since we are moving to tomorrow's uh, social phase, and I can close the turn order because we do not need it. Hiroko has like a bunch of bandages on her face. <laughs> Let us talk about social links, shall we? Yay, social links! So, basically, how it works is any. Any, uh, I put non, like, antagonistic, uh, in, in the rulebook, but for the sake of just clarifying, anyone that is in your journal and does not have a joke bio, uh, can be social linkable if you want. Now, you do not need to actually do a social link right now and then if none of the characters appeal to you. And only one player can do a social link with an NPC. Uh, so you can't have two people doing one with, like, Shinobu or uh, Nanami. Can only or can't? Can't. Okay. Basically, um, one NPC per person. Uh, Character-wise, um, I think uh, out of character, um, I think... Uh, is it one NPC Shachiko per person or can one? Probably become better friends with my than I can. Just. All right, just quick go question. Go and have be friends. Uh, is it one NPC per person or one person per NPC? Uh, one person per NPC. Okay, so we're not just making one social link. Right, right. Now, um, you have a max of three, but uh, obviously for right now, um. Just uh, one. And since Grass Slam is answering the phone, uh, I'm going to let y'all discuss amongst yourselves. Yeah, it's probably. Sachiko, Sachiko. Yeah. Do you wanna? Do you wanna go meet up with Mai? Do you wanna track? Uh. And I'm still grounded. In fact, I'm like three times as grounded. We need to work on that. I mean, we'll probably be, you know, going out to um the dungeons any frequently. Yeah. yeah uh... She just kind of puts her head on her desk. <laughs> Oh, and just, uh, for the record, I might as well just list off, uh, everyone that is social linkable as of right now. Uh, that would be Mai, Kyo, uh, Alexander, uh, the person that the Hiroko, art dude. the art dude that Hiroko met that you don't even know his name, uh, Takahiro, Nanami and Shinobu. Out of character, I very much want to know what Kyo's deal is. Yeah. Me, me, me. I'll take her because I'm not that much interested in anyone else. <laughs> and yeah, I kind of shoving Shachiko towards my. <laughs> She's not. All right. Um. Uh... For the record, Grasslam, if you missed it, we're choosing, uh, 
your first social links. I I guess I guess um Hiroko will go to art club. Okay. I I'm assuming that means art dude. Yep. Art okay. dude. Uh, y'all will want to make like a section for your social links on your sheets because uh, this is like Persona Five where um your uh you get uh special abilities for uh your social link ranks i'm assuming we also get more social links later on yes yes you have a max of i think it was three i put i thought I that was right. four. it might have been four i did I, it was three or four uh let me double check uh, your doesn't social... quite matter yet yeah um max of three social links okay it might have been in my, uh, pre, uh, PDF notes I put for. Anyway, so that is Kyo for Catherine. Uh, Art Dude for Hiroko. And I am going to assume my for Sachiko? For now, yeah. I'm going to wait to see who else comes down the road. I figured you would have jumped shop, for Alexander. Uh, what medicine I can get uh, before I go and talk with Kyo or... Wait, what? Shopping. Can I shop uh, No, but... Okay, so... It, it follows the... Similar rules as Persona. In that, um... You, you only have, like, one... Well, I guess not the similar, not the same, but you only have one action per um, social phase, so to speak. Yeah, but you can only shop before you go and. Don't I, get I... magic, Amy. <laughs> I, I there is something he say or Hi say wants to do though. I mean, could send Hi say with a shopping list. Hi say. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, was I love that drink. Doing... I was planning on doing some shopping in this social phase, so give me a list and I'll get you things. She'll go with him. Actually, no. So, Haisei wants to go look up some information about the hospital. Okay. Um... I guess I'll just do it this way. Uh, who wants to have their scene first? Well, I don't have a social link yet, so I can wait. Right. I right. can do it first. Okay. I'll, I'll be second, because I need to leave in a sec. Okay. I'm not feeling good. Uh. I guess I'll be third? Yeah. I'll go and last. And then, yeah, those are. Okay. And then Phoenix will be fourth, and then. Uh, okay. Actually. Can Haise go shopping with him? I mean, if y'all want. You won't so much be shopping with him as shopping in his general vicinity, but you will tolerate your presence. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, so, Hiroko, you yep. enter the, uh, the art classroom. There are more people in here than last time. Uh, those unfinished works you saw when you entered the first time around are currently being worked on by uh, students you don't really recognize or know the names of. Oh, and so they're generics. Yes. They're odd. Um, he's so generic I forgot his Mishima! They're Mishimas. Um, but the uh, one dude you met when you came in the first time he is currently in a corner of the room away from everyone else uh apparently working on some sort of painting uh you can't actually see it because the um the uh is it easel i can't actually remember the name of it i think it's easel but the easel, easel is basically yeah. him facing the corner so you can't really get a good look at it Rucker goes up to him and is like, hey, you run the club? 
He doesn't really take his eyes off his painting, but he says, more or less. Should I just get up? I just start painting or something? If you want, there's also pottery that you can do. All right. Hey, Hiroko starts painting. Next He's to doing him, this still. Uh, near him, not near like him? right okay. next to him. Like she was nearer to him than anybody else's, probably. Um, Hiroko's doing like a still life of some flowers. Let me pull something up just really quick. Buildings. So there's kind of a just kind of awkward silence. Between the both of you, as you're both kind of focused on your paintings. And then without uh, really looking at you or looking away from his painting, he just says, Ken. Hiroko. And that's all that's kind of said between the two of you. For a good uh, few minutes. But then he kind of stands up and looks at your painting. And he said, uh, going for flowers, huh? Got something to say about it? No, it's just the usual thing I see for first-timers do. Hiroko shrugs. I find that... <laughs> Thanks, Isai. Isai. He says, I feel like the best paintings usually reflect something about the artist. This is reflecting that I like flowers, alright? He just kind of says, okay. And there's still another kind of awkward silence as he also goes. for like the record it's not that good a painting <laughs> like it's very clear that like this isn't the first time Hiroko has tried painting but she's not like practiced or amazing at it he uh goes back to his painting and he just kind of says it's not bad for the record Hiroko just nods thanks and um The, uh, the, the club kind of ends after a while, and everyone kind of clears out, uh, except for Ken, who's still in the corner, uh, working on his painting. I, I guess, like, wait, so the club ended? Yeah. Rocco's putting, like, her unfinished thing away, mm -hmm. and she just goes over and tries to look at what he was painting. Uh, he, he doesn't try to stop you or anything. It appears to be a, uh, uh, a picture of a woman with, uh, short, curly black hair. Ah, uh, shit, he might have moppy issues. He better bail from this. <laughs> Nah. What is this supposed to reflect? He just kind of glances at you and he says, no one important. Fair. And Hiroko leaves. Uh, before you leave, he says, uh, you're in class 2B, right? Yeah. See. He kind of pauses for a bit and says, Akiyama. Is that his last name? Uh, yeah, that's your teach. Oh, that our teach is. Oh, it is our teach. Your dad or someone? Older brother. 
Oh. Wait, how how old is our teacher? It's out of character. Uh, you kind of guess like mid thirties. Good question. If Hiroko is on a map, right? You don't want to do it in the classroom. Question marks would be above her head. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. And so, well, he's a good teacher. <laughs> he just kind of nods at that. And, uh... Let's see. He, he kind of responds to... He kind of responds with... I look forward to you being here again. Yeah. Something to do. It's fun. And, uh, let's call that rank one of your social link. You get an ability along with that. Uh, let me adjust this just really quick. But... Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this, and you can put it on your sheet. I... <laughs> Thank you, Grasslap. Uh, open this right quick. And, uh... Uh, Mihal, you won next? Yep. Okay, so you are going to track, then. Or the uh, run club, really. The go fast club. <laughs> the go fast <laughs> club. Uh, and you see, um... Again, kind of a similar looking scene as when you first came. With most people just kind of... Sitting around and my being the only one who's actually running. But when she sees you, she kind of does the same bouncing up and down and waving deal as she did uh, when you two first arrived. Uh, hi. Hey! I'm glad to see you came. Uh. Though it's kind of a shame your, uh, your friend didn't show up too. Mm. You wanna you wanna go one around the track? Uh I I guess. Okay. Uh Roll your guts, Mihal. <laughs> I forgot that you actually have a lot of guts. Yep. Uh so you actually managed to keep a pretty steady pace along with my Despite the fact that she's been doing this, like, a lot longer than you have? <sighs> you're both, uh, you, you both are pretty out of breath by the time you come to a stop, and she kind of says, Oh, wow, have you, have you run before? Uh, no. He kind of, like, stumbles <laughs> and falls on the ground. She sounds like she's gonna, like, vomit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, well, you're pretty good at the actual running part, but your your stamina could probably stand to use some work. Uh... She kind of offers a hand to help you back up. Uh, Sachi reaches out her hand. <laughs> <laughs> She, uh, picks you up off the ground. Which I imagine isn't that hard of a task. No! Sachi is tiny. Considering Sachiko is a tiny baby child. <laughs> uh, 
don't worry. Once, uh... What once things once you get used to it, they'll you, you'll have a lot more stamina. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm not actually used to used to talking to people about running. Mostly <laughs> people um just kind of use this as an excuse to hang out. But 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 hey, isn't this a a club? Yeah, um, we used to be the track team, and there actually used to be, like, a girls track team and a boys track team, but, uh, budget cuts kind of happened, and it's not, it's not. Oh. Usually, um... Usually there's not even the gym teacher here to supervise. This is the saddest fucking club ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that, none of you joined the chess club. I was so tempted to actually do that. <laughs> I might still do it later down the line, actually, just to throw everyone off. <laughs> Why did the budget get cut so much? Um... Well, you know how this, like, used to be a tourist town? Uh... Uh, well, it stopped. So, the... The government kind of... Stopped giving... A higher budget to our school, and some cuts needed to be made. Certainly, there were better clubs to cut. Right? Sachiko is kind of like startled when she says that. <laughs> Somewhere uh -oh. across the town, like. The two shopping nerds can fucking hear it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to yell. It, it, it's fine. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I, I hope you continue to come. You're, like, the only other person who actually runs here. I, I mean, it's better than the other options. <laughs> and, uh... I think we're going to count that as your social link rank one with my Yamada. <laughs> and uh, again, I'm going to drop an ability in the chat. Even though this isn't entirely true considering what just happened, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> for, for the record, when it says any direction on the map, I mean like any interconnecting. So like if you wanted to um, escape from one end of the room to the other and leave through that hallway. Sachiko just shoving everyone out of the room. Hold on, roll 20 glitched out. Yeah, basically though. And uh, that just leaves Handel then for in terms of social links. So, yep. how do you approach this, Handel? Uh, let's see. I would say. Uh, she was in class today, that interest Catherine, so after school when everybody was starting to pick up, she just decided to go up and say, Hey, you wanna walk home together? She just kinda looks you up and down and responds with, why? Well, I haven't seen you around and, well, I was wondering if you need... A friend, actually. Or at least a walking companion. Catherine she... is too nice for her own good. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
She just like, kind of... Is actually pretty good. She just kind of stares at you for a good long while. Before finally saying, sure, why not? I got nothing better to do. Alrighty. So, so, uh... She, she kind of says, I'm closer, so we'll go by my house first. Okay, then. And, uh, yeah, y'all start walking to, uh, to, you presume, her house. And there's just kind of an awkward silence that lingers through the air as you two walk towards whatever direction she takes you. Catherine's just rolling questions in her mind. What is the most casual <laughs> thing she could talk about? So, hey, how about that leather? Only guts. Good thing I got a lot of guts. Actually, no, wait, not guts. Give me just one second. Uh, yeah, no, 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 guts, guts. I, I couldn't remember if I put, like, a courage stat in here. That's his courage. Yeah. Woohoo! That's a die roll that I was expecting. She just kind of responds with, it sure is happening. Uh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, I haven't seen you in class today so, in a long while, so, um... You haven't seen uh, her in class ever prior to this. Are you struggling with anything? I could maybe try to tutor you? She just kind of, like, she stops walking and just kind of looks at you. Catherine. And says, No, trust me, I am not struggling with anything. Catherine shrugs and says, all right. It's mostly just... It's mostly just school bores me. And she continues walking uh, slightly faster than you. Uh, Catherine jogs to keep up. Uh... No, she's like, hmm, she might be a gifted student. She's probably good at this. Oh, jeez, what do I go with? Um... No, 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 it's okay. Just sometimes a silent companion helps. And then... It's at this point that you do arrive at what is surprisingly Kyo's house. Because it's... You would say it's slightly smaller than a mansion. Jeez. And there's a gate around it that leads to a, a path that, a long path that takes you to the door. And she says, well, this is where we stop. Y yep. Yep, this is where we stop. Mm -hmm. Tell you what. Your name is Catherine, yeah? Yep. Before class, uh, stop by here. Okay, then. Because I'm going to show you something more interesting than class. Oh, no, did Catherine get involved with the cult? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, let's consider that rank one of your social link. No, that's considered offering to a cult. Get out of there. <laughs> and, uh... Let's, um... So I'm presuming to rank up, I, uh, gotta declare before class starts, you know... Let, hey, well, let, let me put what is probably my favorite description for an ability. 
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. People probably had the same feeling back in the day. I, I was going to put that in the Discord, but I felt like it was going to influence one of you a bit too much. Instead, <coughs> <laughs> 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 we get someone who's a pretty diligent student suddenly with the ability to ditch class. That's Enjoying boring. a goddamn cloat. Cloat? Cult. <laughs> cloat. <laughs> Captain joins a cloat. The game joins a cult. <laughs> anyway. Now that that has happened. Uh, let's move on to, uh. To, to Kaito and, uh. Isaiye shopping. So what are exactly buying? Oh, uh, Medicine. Well, here, here's a major question, though. How much yen have I given y'all? None. Oh, ten dollars worth in my case. That was spent on a sandwich. Right. And, uh... Y'all are... High school students. Well, I mean, Hisei has a job. Yeah. Hisaya, yeah. Um, actually, if they probably buy the medicine at the convenience store she works at, they could probably get like a discount. I, I was gonna say, yeah, you have the um, yeah, have the option of. Go I will say, going to a convenience store or going to a pharmacy for your shopping options. What's the difference? A uh, different selection. I would say in character, he said I would probably drag him to the convenience store. Uh, I'm just gonna say it'll probably be cheaper there. Yeah, let, let's go. I don't seem to have much of a choice in a matter, so I guess I'm getting dragged. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to say. Um, I have not actually made any, any stores for y'all yet. Uh, I uh, mostly, like I said, I was, I was pretty busy this weekend. Um, so I was doing the uh, second floor. Uh, and then today, when I got home from work, I did the social link abilities. So here's what I'm going to say. Uh, Y'all, we can pick the shopping back up uh, next session when I'll we will when I will actually have a list of things you can buy. Uh, in return, I am going to say that uh, Grassland. Yeah. Uh, you can also do your thing of you want to research the hospital. Yeah, so like after the whole shopping trip, you know, she goes home, mm -hmm. kind of hangs out with her sister for a bit, and, and then, then... I should I should also mention, this will also uh, let me get uh, a good standing of where y'all um, y'all's money situation is at, and also it allows me to uh, create NPCs for both the convenience store and the pharmacy. Which are potentially S-linkable, depending on your decisions. Well, obviously she's going to have to have a, a, a social link with the convenience store clerk. I, I, thought, I thought you were gonna uh, S-link uh, Char. 
grass left? No. <laughs> I can't S-Link the char, so whatever. This game's useless now. What do you mean you can't? You can! I could? Yes! That'd be kind of funny. Figure out how to get back to the Velvet Room. She gets back into the Velvet Room, she's like, Hey! <laughs> tell me about ghosts! <laughs> she's just slamming her fist on any blue door she finds. She sends group texts to people. The group is like, hey guys, I think I found another door to Velvet. Oh, never mind. <laughs> another bathroom. You just got a message back saying, how did you find this number? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, none of us have each other's numbers or anything. <laughs> Continue with what you were saying, your ass lab. Uh, the mic is open, Bella. There you go. So, yeah, you know, she goes shopping. Since her parents kind of work late, she kind of makes sure her little sister's all set up for the night, and then she does research. Okay, roll me. Uh, freaking um, knowledge. Damn. Wow. All right. Uh, so you find, like, a lot of rumor sites. Because the official statement, uh, what you found, is that the, uh, hospital was shut down due to unforeseen complications. However, but, yeah. what you learn from going on to these rumor sites is you see a couple um grieving family members talking about what happened uh from what you can gather uh several um patients were admitted to the hospital with uh some form of disease and then, eventually, at some point, just no sign, no warning sign, out of nowhere, a doctor, uh, basically cut all of these patients' life support, and then killed himself. Oh. Shit. Huh. And, uh, you can you, you get this from the um the the like I guess message boards or like comment you know, sections I, almost. I, I thought of something really super you could possibly do. So since. Kisai's blog is pretty popular. <laughs> Can she like be like, hey fans! I'm oh looking for God. information about hospital name here. I mean you can. Uh what I was going to say though was um you learned that the doctor's name who did this was a Dr. Akio Shirui. Was that no another name? Knows had names in them. And that does explain like those ghosts that were nearly flatlining. So we may not be dealing with one ghost. We may be dealing with so wait. It's the ghost of the doctor and not a patient like we thought. But some of the patients that might have been those guys who were rampaging. Wait, can like next day, can like he say I just like pull the group together and just start blabbing about what happened? Uh, what she found? Yes, but I am going to say we will cover that next session. Then yeah, just she digs up all the information she gets, she writes it down in a notebook or on her phone and just like takes a very long deep breath. She's like, <laughs> yeah. 
This is usually a lot more darker than I usually research. And uh, I think I'm going to call the session there. And let's uh, move to our debriefing room, which is just uh, the Hatsune Miku's canon rune. room. Hatsune Miku's canon rune is a different thing. I think that went well. Yeah? Yeah, that was yeah. fun. Yeah. The only uh, combat encounter that took a while was one that was supposed to take a while this time. Yeah, like, it felt like it took a while, but it felt like it was supposed to, because we had a bunch of enemies and also a mini-boss. I got to poison everyone. And also we had the tools to deal with it, like poison and stun. And heal! I thought, so to me, in, in that, when Hiroko was at 2 HP, I didn't remember what the rules for dying were. Uh, basically, you are, uh, KO'd for the duration of the battle. Uh, if no one gets you up, uh, well, we'll deal with that when we come to it. <laughs> Though, uh, yeah, considering Handel went next, or not next, but she was before any enemies, so she could pick you back up, uh, ah. Note to self, give uh, myself an ability that can at least stabilize. Or would a healing ability work for that? Ah, uh, you would need specifically a revive ability. Okay. Note but, to self, um, give Rakarm. <laughs> Actually, let, let us talk about that, because I think y'all have earned this. Uh, y'all level up. Hooray! Hooray! Uh, Yay. is Mihal here... I'm going to take that as a no. Uh, so let's let's talk about leveling up, shall we? Uh, but uh, let me pull up my PDF. Uh, but where are you? Da, 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 da. Actually, here's a question I want to uh, pose to y'all real quick while I'm looking this up. Uh, what did y'all think about the actual first floor of the dungeon? I mean, it, it was good. It yeah. wasn't, it wasn't, like, confusing to maneuver around, um, anything. Because, yeah, uh, the, the one worry I had is making the puzzles either too obtuse or too simple. Uh, the one y'all mostly struggled with was the, um, security system. Which is partially my fault, because I didn't think that my weapon might have something to do with it. I just thought <laughs> my weapon is, like, an object. I should have thrown, like, a rock or something in there to test. Which is yeah. what I was going to do. One thing I was going to do was, like, poke only my spear in and see if that did anything. Kind of wave it about and then hold it still. And then we might have got it from there, but I don't know. We never got the chance, so what else? And plus, that's also, like I said, why I include, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, 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 the bird. The bird, Karyudo. Uh, that's why I include basically a hint system. In case I do screw up on something, and that why y'all aren't just stuck for hours. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let us talk about leveling up. So, uh, I'm going to base it off of what I said in here. Uh, I'm going to say you get, uh, three points to spend on combat stats, and two points to spend on social stats. Wait, two points combat, three points social? All the way around. So, okay, three points social. Wait. Three points combat, two points two social. Two points social, yes. Hey, we leveled up, Mihal. Yay. Uh, that's when uh, Mihal's Arcana starts coming into play. Uh, if I remember... Oh, wasn't Mihal's, was Mihal's Arcana the one that where she's weaker at first and then gets stronger? Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure the way I said it... Let me choose an Arcana. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. Moon, where are you? Moon, uh, okay, ba -da -ba -ba. 
Yeah, and you get a point extra point to spend in both social and combat at level up. So everyone gets three combat and two social, except for Mihal, who gets four combat and three social. So three in combat, two in social? Right. Okay, I need to get a is, proficiency point. Also, is five the max, or can we go above five for social stats? Social ten is the max. Right. Twenty-five is the max for combat. Okay, I'm putting one point in proficiency simply so I have that, and... I think hanging out with Kyo would increase uh, Catherine's guts level. Are you really far away from the mic? <laughs> sort of, yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, one proficiency, one gut. Okay. Uh, yeah, just uh, resend me your character sheets when you get the chance. I will download that. Alright, I just did... Um... So I one added... point in guts, one in proficiency, and then two points in endurance, one in strength. Uh, for me, two points in magic, one point in endurance. For social, one in charm, one in knowledge. Okay. It's five points for combat or three? Three for combat, two for social. Do we get a new spell? Uh, no, not yet. Aww. I added one in knowledge, one in guts, and one in kindness for social, and two in uh, magic, and two in endurance for combat. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What? Okay, one in strength, that's for certain, and where to spend my other two? Uh, probably in agility to bump that up to ten as well. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to stop recording here, and like I said, y'all can uh, drop your sheets in the Discord, and I will download that so I have your up-to-date sheets. I'm trying to remember, does screwing around with endurance and magic change SP and HP? Yes, yes it does. Uh, remember, your HP is double your endurance, and your SP is double your magic. So I have 15 now, does it boot up? 13 what? I have 15 in magic, does that boot up? You have 15 in magic? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it makes your SP 30. Nice. Join me in being a magical person. She's basically your debuffer. I might get her motto later on. Uh, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop recording now.